Hello and a very warm welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on geology and geophysics. So let's get started with the tutorial. Let us start the tutorial by this particular question that you can see on the screen. Let us read it. The question says consider a geological body that is buried at the equator at a center at a certain depth. Sorry. Now, if, a, if the same body were to be buried at the North Pole at the same depth, the question says, how would the gravity and magnetic field responses measured over the body differ? Now, we, they have asked us to make an assumption that the same magnetic subs, susceptibility and density contrast. Okay, so let us answer this. We have the four options given to us and we have to choose the most appropriate one. I'll just reduce the ink size a little bit. Okay, so gravity field response is actually irrespective of location of burial location of burial so this it does not depend on this so it only depends so it only depends on geometry of the body density contrast and lastly which i sh should mention is the depth of the depth to the body so what we see is that gravity response does not so gravity response actually does not respond to change from equator to pole for the same body at same burial depth. Now, I must add that bodies having same magnetic susceptibility, so same magnetic susceptibility, but are at different location on earth actually shows different magnetic field response as the geomagnetic field induction varies considerably over the earth surface earth surface so what we can say that the angle of magnetization and hence the field response so after complete analysis of the question we can say that among the four option d will be the correct answer to this particular question moving on to the next question so the next question says Given the Bauger density of 2.8, the Bauger correction for gravity station at an elevation of 30 meter above the datum is given by. So, we have been provided. So, let us rewrite the information. So, we have the. B 
Baga density and I'll represent it by the symbol rho p. So this is 2.8 and the elevation I'm denoting it by h is 30 meter. So the Bauge correction is actually given by 2 pi this Bauge density gh where g is nothing but gravitational constant. So delta gb is equal to 2 into 3.14 we are just substituting the values into 2.8 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube into 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 into 30. So we will get the answer as 0 0.0000351855 meter per second square and this will be equal to 3.518 in because the unit in which we have to represent is not actually meter per second square and let me give you the a relation between the two unit so it is something like this not something like this but exactly like this now with now so with this we wind up today's tutorial i hope this short tutorial on geology and geophysics was helpful to you guys if yes then don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe to our channel, share our videos and thank you so much for watching.